Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Rabbit's Tale. It has been a long time since I've done one of these, uh, primarily because of a, a certain pandemic we've been in over the last uh, couple of months. So I thought I would return to form with one of my favorite games from my childhood, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This is the original version on the Game Boy, mind you, because I grew up with it. And I consider myself a bit of a guru with it. And uh, I screen skip like a mofo, <laughs> which is which is totally cheating, and I'm okay with that. I, I have absolutely no problem cheating in this video game. So, without further ado, let's jump into this game here. This is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Game Boy. Damn, this came out in 1993. I can't even believe this. Let's jump straight in. Look at that. Uh, I have a thing here already. We'll just delete that and start from scratch. Uh, and what are we going to call myself? Um, we'll just do it again. <laughs> e, A, and R. Alrighty. Straight into things here. Let's wake up on the island. You probably know the story. What a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No. My name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on Koholint Island. Let me jump on out here and we'll go talk to this guy. Well, you're, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on back of the shield. All right, I got my shield back, and I can use it to flip enemies. Blah, 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 blah. All right, we're just gonna screen skip like a mofo in this game. That means we're gonna be doing stuff out of order as much as I can, and while I'm not a speedrunner, I'm probably gonna be jumping through things in sequence breaky kind of bits, so we'll see what happens. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is just kinda run down to the beach here, and uh, Let's move one of these guys out of the way. There we go. And now we're gonna talk to our favorite friend in this game, the owl. He goes, hoot, hoot. So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. It's got that, you know, that accent. Starting to act so violently, darling. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish, don't you know? She's also Canadian for some reason. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. Darling, I'll wait for you there. Hoot. <laughs> Alright, cool. We've got our sword. We are ready to roll. It must be mine because it has my name engraved on it. Which just goes to show you Link's the kind of guy that engraves his name on his own frickin' sword. Frickin', by the way, because I try very hard not to swear uh, nowadays. I don't know. I'll do it every now and then. I, uh, I am an adult. This is a show for adults, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we're playing Game Boy games. And uh, now that we have our sword, we're gonna bum rush up to the top of the beach. I'm not, I don't need to do much screen skipping yet. We're, we got pretty much a clear path here. And we'll occasionally grab some items and have some fun here and there, but, uh, like, first thing we're gonna do is run in here and grab ourselves a piece of heart. I'm not gonna get all the pieces of heart in this game and all the collectibles and things, but we'll get just enough to get by. So, without further ado, let's make our way to the mysterious woods. Oh, brave lad on your quest to wake the dreamer, eh? Welcome to the mysterious wood. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Hoot! Always watching. One thing you want to remember is the, the windfish is always watching. Watching and judging. Judging. Silently judging. Judging and watching and judging. Don't need that. 
We're gonna deal with him later. I think what we want to do is go this way? They want you to go through a cave, but I'm not doing that. I think we just need to go this way. Let's see if I can remember how to get through this forest. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, pretty sure we'll just jump up this way. And skip our way over here. And we've got ourselves a tail key. Whoop. <laughs> I don't know where the owl went. Take the key and go to the tail cave. Get the instrument that's hidden there. Go now, Windfish is waiting. I know, I know, I know. But we still need to go down a little ways here. Because um, we want to make sure that we pick up the... Uh, the mushroom. Mushroom is important for later. Just to advance things, you know. Uh, the mellow aroma flows through my nostrils. Okay, cool. Let's... oh, let's do this. We'll sc screen skip over this way. Save a little bit of time. We don't need it quite yet, but we're going to want to pick up the magic powder. So let's go ahead and get that done now. Because we got time. And let's give, uh, I think it's, I forget her name. I think it's Rai Rai or something like that. Or that's, no, I think that's the, I think that's an old man, actually. The uh, Rai Rai or whoever it is. Syrup! I think it's Syrup the Witch. Anyways, she gives us some magic powder. We can sprinkle it on a, a great many things. And, uh... It will allow us to do some fun things in this world. But for now, we want to get down to the Tail Cave. So that we can get to dungeon number one. Which, ironically, I find to be a fairly difficult dungeon for no other reason than the boss always gives me problems. I I just... I always seem to have trouble with the, uh, the boss in the tail cave. Don't need that. We're doing okay today. And we're good. We're back up to full health. We're gonna make our way back down to the beach. There we go. It's all good. And, uh, here we go. Slot the key into the keyhole, and bam, we have access to the first dungeon. The Tail Cave. Now, there's not a whole lot we need to do in here. But we'll just kind of make our way through... Oh, we should grab that just in case. We might need one key or so in this dungeon. Oops. I think that's the compass. Didn't need it, but I like getting it. That's okay. We'll still make our way through rather quickly here. Every single time we get the compass in this game, it's going to let us know that a sound will tell us whether there is a hidden item or a treasure chest or something in the room, just like that, when we enter it. Cluck, cluck. Da -na -na -na. Okay. And the first thing that we want to get while we're in this dungeon is going to be the rock's feather, which will allow us to jump over small pits. But we gotta get there first. I may as well pick that up, too. Rupees are fun. Joy! Here we go. We'll open this keyhole up real quick. And we're just gonna make our way through here. Super easy. If you know where you're going and what you're doing, this dungeon is a bit of a cakewalk. Uh, 
There we go. And just like that, we can go downstairs. One of the fun 2D platforming sections in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, where we get to find some Goombas. Lots of fun uh, Nintendo uh, oddball characters that will show up in this game, which is always cool. And with that, we have ourselves the Rock's Feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter, and it is. But we will continue with this game next time on A Rabbit's Tale. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care.